Ladies and gentlemen, food processing companies are having a terrible time keeping workers, mostly because many are calling out sick, many have retired early, and some just stop showing up for work. They just stop coming. So now what food companies are doing, they are heavily relying on temporary workers now due to their persistent labor shortage. You know, ain't this something? Years ago, these kind of jobs were considered good paying jobs. <laughs> and I'm sure I'm not the only one that know this. These were good paying jobs. All right, so the U.S. food industry is increasingly reliant on temporary workers. And of course, you know, it's due to all kinds of staffing shortages at food plants, supermarkets, and farms. Remember everybody was talking about, oh, just the illegals, the illegals. Even on farms where the illegals primarily, a lot of them work, especially when they first come to this country, they're shorthanded on farms. Supermarkets and food processors are hiring short-term staff to unload trucks, move goods, and assist in store cooks, filling holes created by employees who have left the workforce during the pandemic and are, or they're out sick temporarily. Executives said hiring temporary workers can be expensive because they typically cost more per hour than permanent staff and require additional training. Yes, they do, because you know the temporary agency gets a cut of the money and then the employees get a, a percentage of it. So they're right about that. It would cost them more. In Kansas, the Associated Whole Food Grocers, Inc., has retained hundreds of temporary workers at its 11 distribution centers in recent weeks as employees call in sick at high record numbers after contracting, you know, Omicron or being exposed to it. I just threw that in there, y'all. Most temporary workers are traveling to work at wholesaler facilities and the company is providing housing in hotels and transportation. This is according to Chief Executive Officer David Smith. Short-term workers fill roles ranging from lift operators, I, I think he means forklift, and uh, to order select, uh, selectioners. All right, so we are doing everything we can to maintain an adequate and healthy workforce, Mr. Smith said. He said there are declines in some areas, you know, due to illness associated with seeing more applicants and employees return to their jobs. Many U.S. workers switch industries, retired early, or didn't return to their jobs for other reasons, you know, during the pandemic. The food industry has boosted hourly pay and offered bonuses and other perks, but companies say they continue to struggle to recruit and retain workers. You know what, y'all? I don't know if any of you remember this. If you remember during the first 2020 lockdown, some of these food processing plants did close because too many people were sick. And then Trump signed this executive order saying they were not allowed to close. You know, no defense, but I knew from that point on, it was never going to be good for the food industry. I knew it. So you did too, Loretta. Okay. All right. So the food companies, they decided to hire the temps to fill in the gaps of their workforces and to boost personnel during busy holiday season. But 
the pandemic stretch the staff thin. So it looks like they're piling all these people in, but you know, eventually they all get sick and can't come to work. Industry executives are now relying on temps more than ever. Some companies have flown in short-term workers. Others are using multiple temp agencies to fill staffing holes. Temp workers ranging from retirees to parents are drawn to the flexibility of choosing when to work and the ability to make extra cash. Recent strikes across the food industry had contributed to growing reliance on temp workers. Kroger Company said it hired temp workers to help staff its King Superstores in Denver. More than 8,000 unionized employees walked off the job in January, demanding better wages and benefits. Kellogg's, which I remember their strike, Last year, it was using temporary replacements and other workers to run its cereal plants during a strike involving 1,400 employees lasting more than two months. Both the strikes uh, have since ended after the workers accepted a new contract offer. All right, and... um, Some of these uh, temps are doing things in the food processing plants. They're doing other roles like dishwashing, cooking uh, assistance in August. And at Rose Acre Farms, one of the nation's largest egg producers, temporary workers are now making up roughly 7% of the workforce. This is according to the CEO, Marcus Rust. He depends on temp workers to grade and pack eggs in places like Iowa and Georgia, Mr. Rust said, but the agencies can transfer entire teams elsewhere on short notice, leaving Rose Acre to train a new batch of workers shortly after training the first. So, all right, so you got the temporary workers, but what happens when they get sick? (laughs) I guess just keep piling them on. I I don't know. The quick fix that temporary workers can offer comes with its own costs, executive said. Roger O'Brien, CEO of California-based Santa Monica Seafood, said that seafood processor now employs twice the number of temp workers as before the pandemic and pays up to 10% an hour more for temps versus permanent employees. He said the productivity can suffer, though, because temporary workers require training and supervision and tend to make more mistakes In several cases, he said temp workers have stolen packages (laughs) of lobster tails or shrimps worth hundreds of dollars. Man, I don't eat none of that shell food, uh, shellfish, but wow, they are getting even ripped off by the temp workers. Mm. It's hard to build up a loyal workforce when you have temps and they don't know if they're going to be here for a day or a month, Mr. O'Brien said. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. Temp agencies that supply workers to food companies and other businesses said they work to ensure that staffers have appropriate experience needed for roles. They said they are experiencing hiring challenges of their own as demand for short term staffing grows and, and have turned to car giveaways and national hiring events to find workers. A demand for grocery store workers have soared in recent months. Mm -mm -mm. This is Taryn Owens, president of staffing companies, People Ready Inc. and People Scout Inc. with national chain recent uh, seeking about 5,000 roles 
ranging from stalkers to uh, cart organizers. Some temp agency executives said their own costs are going up. Food Focus Staffing Agency, Quick Inc., has increased its referral bonus to $100 from $20 because they're now relying heavily on referrals to boost its workforce. Seattle Sea, I'm sorry, Seattle Fish Company based in Colorado is using four times its usual number of temp workers after turnover uh, more than doubled between 2019 and 2021. And this is according to CEO Derek Figueroa. Some packing and loading jobs have become harder to fill as more workers reevaluate priorities during the pandemic. Relying on temps with uh, trade offs, including higher costs and sometimes mistakes, Mr. Figueroa said a temp driver recently tasked with delivering goods to a grocery store at sushi kiosk misread the company invoice mixing up the billing and delivering address (laughs) and he deposited 30 boxes of raw fish and other food like rice at a kiosk owner uh owner's home so he took it to a home (laughs) instead of business oh man now that's a mess up right there that's a big f up So instead of delivering 30 boxes of raw fish and rice to the grocery store he was supposed to go to, he took it to the owner's house. (laughs) Oh, So he said, Mr. Figueroa blames himself. He said the company did not provide adequate training and assumed a level of familiarity Um, with billing invoices uh, that comes with more experience. Those are the small pieces that get missed. I think that's funny. He didn't deliver to the grocery store. He delivered all those boxes of food to the owner's house. Mm -mm -mm. I tell you what, that's a bottom of the barrel temp. What kind of temp would believe? food for a grocery store would go to the owner's house. (laughs) Couldn't happen to better people, y'all. But please tell me what you think about how the food industry is struggling to get temporary employees. I mean, if I would have looked at these companies years ago, I would never believe they would be the ones having a hard time getting people being that, you know, I had a couple of relatives that worked for Coca-Cola and I remember them always boasting about how good the pay was. But now, you know, even these companies can't keep workers. Y'all tell me what you think about this. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.